Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be checking out the Nissan LEAF, one of the most popular electric vehicles on the market. And you know, it kind of falls in that bucket because it doesn't make a whole lot of sacrifices. Uh, you have a decent range, 84 miles, you've got plenty of usable trunk space, you can fold down the rear seats, uh, and you can fit some rear passengers back there. So now as far as visibility, looking out the front, not too bad. It is a little far away and the center dash does kind of raise up a bit. To your left and to your right, you've got plenty of visibility out your windows. Checking your blind spot is fine and looking out the rear, no issues back there. As far as the systems themselves, it uh, looks fairly intuitive. You know, you've got a decent sized touchscreen here with your navigation and, you know, your climate control, all push buttons. You've got heated seats for both the front and the rear, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then you've got all kinds of different things here on your left, so you can turn off your traction control. You've got a heated steering wheel. And then, of course, you have some different buttons there on the steering wheel. So you've got your cruise control, eco buttons, things like that. So nothing extraordinary, out of the ordinary there. Okay, so Nissan Leaf taking it for a test drive. How does it feel? Actually, the throttle pedal I really like feels very similar to uh, more traditional gasoline engines that I'm used to. It doesn't have, uh, you know, you don't feel that slam of torque unless you really get your foot onto it. It's got a nice modulation to the mapping. So we'll go ahead and turn here. See if we can get an acceleration pull up a little bit further down the road. Portland traffic not looking great today. Uh, brake pedal feel also I think feels pretty good. It doesn't feel overly regen. Uh, you know, you feel like you have uh, kind of the similar feel to gasoline cars and the thing is people are just used to that and so they're going to like it more regardless of if you can improve it uh, through the regen braking. You know, obviously it's more efficient because you're putting energy back into the battery pack but uh, a lot of that comes at a different feel and people don't necessarily like change. So if you can keep the feeling consistent with things that people are used to, uh, it makes a lot of sense. And I think that may be part of the reason why this Nissan LEAF has been so successful. Aside from the price, obviously, I mean, it's once you get all the tax incentives or you do it as a lease, you can get these for really cheap on a monthly basis. And depending on how much gas you end up using regularly, I mean, you can basically pay for the car itself uh, with the lease. And so putting my foot down, actually a nice, good torque to it. Uh, very smooth power delivery. Some of the other ones you put your foot down and it's kind of a jolty, instant torque feel. And also you don't feel any uh, hunting of the steering wheel like I did in the Fiat 500e. Uh, kind of wanted to torque the steering wheel one way or another, the, the motor trying to sort out how to get the car to go straight. You don't feel that in this very smooth acceleration uh, and very linear power curve it seems where you know you put your foot down and as you lean into it uh, you get more but at a very smooth rate not something uh, notchy or unexpected. Yeah, and even letting off the gas, you know, you might expect to get hit with the regen a little bit, uh, and you don't feel that. You know, you let off the gas and it just kind of coasts like uh, anything else would. So it feels very much so like any other car out there. The biggest difference is you just don't hear an engine. And so that's probably a big part of the, its appeal, is that you don't really feel like you're sacrificing anything. Uh, the driving dynamics aren't all that unfamiliar. And the benefit is that you can just get that peak torque so early on, so you can accelerate very quickly uh, from low speeds, even when that motor is at very low RPM. Versus an engine, you know, you gotta wait till it's up at high RPMs, typically before you can start to get more power. Yeah, I like that. And you have the steering wheel, you don't feel any influence at all from putting your foot down. So it just feels completely relaxed. Wherever you put it, it will stay. Uh, and even if you're turning, while you're accelerating, you still don't feel influence from the motors, which I really do like. 